Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. I wanted to pop on and talk about increase in belly fat and how that can increase inflammation in your system. So, I'm not talking about just, oh, my arms seem a little bit flammier, my legs are getting bigger. This is really the visceral fat, the belly fat, right? This is a really important area to pay attention to, especially for women, for hormones, for health, for all of these things. And in the 12 week challenge, this is something that we target specifically using tactics that are designed for the female body so you can improve this area without feeling like garbage. Because when you have inflammation in your system, you don't feel good, right? Like sometimes you might wake up and feel like, oh, I got hit by a truck today. Ugh. I feel swollen. I feel inflamed. Ugh. I feel like it takes you forever to feel like even good in your body. And then when your hormones shift and change or you're under stress, there you go again. There you go again, right? So if you guys are not on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge, registration opens on Friday. The only way to get the link for registration is on the wait list. So there's the comment or link in the comments. There's a comment in the links. I'm so excited to talk about inflammation right now. <laughs> get on the wait list so you get the registration link for registration on Friday for the 12 week challenge because this is unlike anything else that you've done before. So belly fat, that increase in midsection, you know, visceral fat around your abdomen, right? Very, very specific. This is associated with a lot of the worst health conditions for people, heart disease, diabetes, etc. right? And it also causes more inflammation in your system. So it's harder for your body to respond positively to any changes that you make. Right? Like if you're somebody who's like, gosh, I've been working out more. I've been eating cleaner. I can tell I'm getting muscle or I feel like my arms and legs are like leaning out. Yeah. Yeah. Getting a little bit of a definition there. Yeah, buddy. But why is my gut still big? That that's why that's why that's why. And it doesn't just change overnight. There's really specific tactics that you have to go through nutritionally to target that belly fat. Otherwise your body just won't, it won't. It's so much harder to process through and release. I've done more videos on visceral fat, fat cell cleansing, all that stuff that's on my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. So you can subscribe to that. Um, but really inflammation in the system. How does that happen? Like how belly fat to inflammation? Come on. Belly fat is like right in your middle. But how can it be inflammation everywhere and affect everything? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. I didn't, I decided not to go through this process. I got excited, but I will mention these things in case you're like, I want to look this stuff up. Great. Interleukin six, it's a cytokine, right? This is responsible for a lot of the inflammation in your system, especially when it gets converted to what's called C-reactive protein. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super hard in the system. Oh, what does that do? Oh, it does this chronic inflammation, right? It increases chronic inflammation. So that means that it's not just, Oh, I feel a little puffy today. No, this is, uh, I wake up every day and feel inflamed and like my body's not responding or I'm doing all these healthy things and it's not, you know, working out like it normally does or like it should, right? That's that chronic inflammation. Um, this can lead to some like achiness. Like you can have joint achiness kind of all over general feeling like garbage. I can't tell you how many women I work with on a regular basis where they're like, God, yeah, I just don't, I don't feel good. I just don't feel good. Or I only feel okay. Like half of the month. Why is that? Your body has a hard time processing these things through. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's one thing to work on the hormones. It's one thing to help your adrenals out. All that other stuff is great. But if you're not targeting some of this stuff to really help upstream, you're not going to get and keep a better result. So that's again, all things we do in the 12 week challenge, um, which again, the link to it is in the comments there. This also leads to insulin resistance, insulin resistance as well. All this, uh, C reactive protein leads to insulin resistance in the body. What does that mean? Again, I, I don't know why they name things like this, right? Insulin resistance. Aww. Basically it's weight loss resistance resistance. It's how your body is responding um, to your blood sugar levels changing. So think of it in terms of what does that do? Uh, <laughs> weight loss resistance, and you're going to get more cravings and it's going to be harder to control your blood sugar levels and feel like you have energy and just feel good from the food that you're eating. Even if you're eating a super clean diet, that's another thing people kind of, you know, forget about, Oh, well, I just got to eat really clean. Uh, totally. Right. But if this is already offset in your system, this is a train that's already going. You can't step in front of it and expect it to stop. 
So eating super clean and healthy isn't enough. You have to, again, go upstream, target the original problem and issue to take care of it. And then the trickle down happens. Yes, again, all things we do in the 12 week challenge there. And then it also disrupts, you know, and creates more metabolic problems. So overall your metabolism is terrible. <laughs> and here's the thing too, with a lot of the gals that I work with is, you know, it's like, oh, you're trying so hard. You're trying so hard to do all these things. I'm working out and eating clean. I'm, you know, I'm meditating, I'm doing all this stuff, right? And there's stress in my life and there's other things you have that all kind of piles on, adds to the inflammation and then your metabolism, which think of it like a dial, right? It's a dial and it's just going powering down. Yeah, yeah. So no amount of like fancy fat burning pills, supplements, little drinks of whatever. I keep seeing all these things all over the place. Like, oh, drink this thing. It's going to get rid of your cellulite, blah, blah. No, cellulite is in your connective tissue. You can reduce the appearance. It's temporary, not permanent. Unless you somehow rip out the connective tissue in your muscles. Don't do that. That's not good. But <laughs> just say we, we are marketed these things that are unrealistic or un like that's not how the body works. That's not how the body works, right? This is how the body works. When we're looking at your system and how it functions and really getting your metabolism going, you have to start, you know, at the top where the issues are and trickle down from there. So it's not enough to say, oh, take this thing to help boost the metabolism because you have this metabolic process problem here. Meh. Oh, okay. But it's not going to do squat unless you're working with a chronic inflammation, unless you're working with this here and it starts with the, with that visceral fat. Yeah. So hopefully that gives you some hope versus being like, wah, wah, that's terrible. Yeah. But it's true. It's true. Right? So this is why just eating clean isn't going to do it. This is why it can be more of an uphill struggle or you feel like, gosh, I have to be super, super strict, super, super strict to get anywhere. And then I'll lose 10 pounds and then that's it. And then nothing else will happen for months. And then I get frustrated and I give up. Yep. We got to really get this piece taken care of. Steph. Hi, Steph. That's me hundred percent. Can't wait to start the 12 weeks, right? Yes. That's going to be amazing. Okay. <sighs> Other resources are, uh, blah, blah, blah. See, I'm so excited to talk about belly fat. <laughs> See, we have to proteins. <laughs> I have to try not to be too much of a nerd. <sighs> okay, so other resources that I have for you. Uh, my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon, talking all about history of nutrition for women, eating for your hormones and your cycle, all that other good stuff. Great resource for you there. Um, and then I mentioned my YouTube channel. My podcast is called The Female Health Solution. Um, a lot of great information for women out there in terms of health. Uh, there's a wide variety of people that I interview, so lots of good resources there. Over 200 episodes, almost 250, I think, coming up on. A lot of episodes there, so lots of content for you guys to absorb. Um, but again, we are you know, gearing up registrations opening for the 12-week challenge. So again, get on the wait list there. That's the only way you're gonna get the registration link. And of course, I'm a resource for you. If you are struggling, if you're feeling like, gosh, I feel lost or something, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, and if you found this video helpful, please share it with other women that could use this message too, because so many people struggle and wonder why, oh, why is this so tough? Why is, why does it seem like I can't get any progress, right? It's not you, you know, there's a lot of other things at, at play here when we're looking at how the body works and functions. Once you function better, you're going to feel better and get faster and easier results. So, all right, that's what I got for you guys today. Um, thank you for tuning in and let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will see you later.